This is another chapter in the true history of mathematics, the true history of sequences. Feel free to pause the video at any point when you need to either do some computation or take notes. One day, Mr. Snide, the most popular mathematics teacher at Iolani, was reading the works of the English economist Thomas Malthus. He was intrigued to discover that Malthus theorized that food supply rises arithmetically, but the population increases geometrically. Because Mr. Snide is interested in all applications of mathematics, including economics, he decided to explore this theory. With the aid of his favorite student, you, he traveled on Iolani's corporate jet to the small island of Aiko Aiko. Mr. Snide and his assistant compiled data on the last four years for the population and the main food, couscous. You will notice that the couscous increases arithmetically. That means there is a common difference. In this case, it is four. And the population increases geometrically. In other words, multiplying by a common factor each time. What is the factor in this case? Three. You may notice there is a problem. Mr. Snide brought this to the attention of the leader of the island, Chief Chief, and warned him that there might be a problem in the future. Chief Chief, like all Ico Iconians, was cautious and asked Mr. Snide to check his figures. Mr. Snide explained that, unlike many math teachers with PhDs, he never makes mistakes. As a matter of fact, he could even estimate the six-month figures. So, for instance, for the arithmetic sequence, since it went up for each year, how much would it go up every half year? But for the geometric sequence, it goes up by a multiplication factor of three. And don't even say one and a half, because one and a half times one and a half will be 2.25. It will not give you three. As you can see, every six months, the geometric sequence will go up by a factor of root 3. Think about it. He went on to give a general formula for both types of data. Try that. For the couscous, you start at 18, and you go up by 4 each year, although the first year you're starting at 18. So if you put a 1 in, you should get 18 in your formula. And for the population of Ico Ico, you start at 12, but every year you're going to go up by a factor of 3. But remember, when you put 1 into your formula, you should get 12. Hopefully, you came up with something like this. For the couscous, it's 18 plus 4 each year past the first. So you can write that as 18 plus 4 times the quantity n minus 1, or 14 plus 4n if you wanted to back it off. And similarly for the geometric sequence, you start at 12 and go by a factor of 3 every year past the first, which simplifies to 4 times 3 to the n. Chief Chief was duly impressed and decided to open a restaurant on the island that served food other than couscous. He called it Chi-Chi's. Chief Chief pre presented another problem to Mr. Snide. Apparently, there was an eccentric musician on the island. He wasn't the typical ukulele playing homeless frog lover. He was a piano player named Liberace. Liberace would play his piano on the beach at sunset under a lighted candelabra while wearing a sequin coat. He was also keeping careful lists of numbers on just about anything. In fact, the Ico Iconians called this list sequins in honor of Liberace. Lately, he had been raising frogs and kept careful statistics on the population. He discovered that it takes a newborn tadpole one month to become an adult. So if he started with one pair of frogs, we would say frog at month one would be one. 
A pair of frogs of each gender will produce only one pair of newborn tadpoles of each gender each month, beginning one month after becoming adults. So, since they had just become adults, they would not be able to reproduce yet. So, frog, the number of frogs at month two would still be one. And the final piece of information was, the frogs on Ico Ico do not die. Chief Cheese asked Mr. Snide to determine the sequence for the frog population since one pair was imported from Bora Bora and to find a formula for the data. Mr. Snide smiled and said, an explicit formula exists, but it is easier to describe the sequence recursively. But Mr. Snide did not have time to explain since he had to fly his assistant back to Ilani for an assessment opportunity. Chief Chief went to the medicine man, Dr. Doctor, and asked him if he could cast a spell to describe the sequence. Of course, all he had to do was curse the sequence twice. In other words, curse and recurse, and the formula was revealed. From then on, the Ico Iconians referred to the special sequence of numbers as Liberace's numbers. What would that recursive sequence be? Remember, frogs of one is one, frogs of two is one, and frogs of n will be equal to the previous two months added together. See if you can figure that out. It's a story for another time.